And Rams fans are pumped. We are days away from the Super Bowl, and Los Angeles is ready to cheer the team on. And uh, Demond Jackson and Marvin Smith Jr., you heard me talking to them, are super fans. They are right here to my left. They are here to talk about the excitement in the Woo! city. First of all, you guys are way too hyped this early in the morning. You said you usually wake up early in the morning. Yeah, I usually wake up at 3 in the morning anyway to go to work, so this is nothing to me. This kind of, you know, I'm just hyped up, energetic, two days away from the Super Bowl. My team's in the Super Bowl. Of course. I get to go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> I, I Look at this mom right here. And, and Marvin, you got to speak up. I'm sure I don't have to tell you, but Sky 2 is above us right now. That's how much love we got here. Nice, nice. So tell us about it. Are you excited about the Rams? I'm very excited. Um, I've always liked the Rams. Actually, my father played for the Rams when I was a baby, like three oh, years wow. old. Okay. So to always watch them, grow up watching them, and they left. Then they finally came back, and I've had season tickets since they came back. And then we were fortunate enough to go to the Super Bowl when they went in 2019. So... We're back again. But well, you got to admit, during the game, were you just a little nervous or were you like, we got this? Man, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I was about to have a heart attack. Jamal <laughs> oh was, like, was like, man, I needed a drink. <laughs> Somebody send me a shot. It was down 17. <laughs> I was down 17 to 7. Mm -hmm. But I was like, wait a minute. We're up on them 17 to 0, and they came back. So it's time for us to make a comeback right now. But I was just like tense in my seat and just like sweating, and my heart was, you know, my heart rate was high. It's just football. You just never know. <laughs> it's not over till it's over. So you can't be comfortable. You can't be nervous. You just got to just believe. And apparently this has been the year for the kicker and in all of the games. The kickers have pretty much won the games here. So if you would talk about uh, the excitement now and, and your hopes, uh, what are you betting on this Sunday? I'm not a big better myself, but... I'm hoping they win. I mean, you ain't got to keep it clean because we're on TV. <laughs> I, I know he'd hit up some of his boys like, hey, man, hey, man, I, I got $500 on this game. <laughs> uh, they know. They know. I might put five on it, but not 500 not five, Okay, not okay. Hey, I'm not going to lie. When the Niners played the Rams, I put $800 on my Niner buddies. And so me winning that helped me buy Rams merchandise, which I'm wearing right now. Okay. Uh, a couple, you know, thank right. you. Thank you, Niner fans. But this one, I just want to be chill, relax, and I want to blow it. I want the Rams to win 38 to 14 so I can relax, come fourth quarter, and then me and this man can celebrate in the park a lot. All right, Marvin, since uh, DeMond got all the money, he's buying lunch for us today. <laughs> 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 he's he's good bet. All right, brothers, thank you so much for being thank with you. us. We thank appreciate you, it. Good to see you guys. Who's You're all house? Welcome back. Rams, Rams out. out. Who's house? Rams out. Yes. We love to see. Man, I love your energy. You want to work so for CBS, appreciate. too? <laughs> come on, come on, man. I got you. I got you. Look at me. I'm speaking for our GM, Joel. Good morning, Joel. All right, coming up at 6 at our 6 o'clock hour, we're going to talk about the Redemption, of course, the redemption story of Odell Beckham Jr., OBJ. I love OBJ. Uh, plus, see how the epic halftime lineup is inspiring up-and-coming artists in Inglewood and Mayor James Butts. He's going to join us live. So oh. I, I can't wait uh, to talk about this as well.